for its definition if we look up Wikipedia. Game theory is the study of mathematical model of conflict and cooperation between intelligent, rational decision makers. What the hell? If we don't care about the definition, what we should know is that game theory is very useful. It can dramatically improve your way of thinking. If you have ever watched a movie named Beautiful Man, the man in the movie named John Nash was best known for advancing game theory. Game theory is all about how to come up with a winning strategy in the game of life, especially when you do not know what your competitors are doing, and the choice do not always look promising. Zero Sum is a I win you lose type of game. He explains the fact in more complex situations, all of the players could gain or all could lose. Maybe you did watch this movie, here we will give a quick look at the game in this movie. Imagine a group of guys hang out in a bar. When they see a gorgeous girl and her friends, every guy wants to get her. Since everyone goes for her, finally, she chose nobody. Everyone loses. What if they go directly for her friends and ignore her? In the end, everyone gets a girl. In this case, everyone wins. While his friends banter about which of them would successfully win the clone, Dr. L Lush concludes. They should do the opposite, ignore her. If we g all go for the bone, he says, we block each other and the lot single of one of us is going to get her. So then we go for her friends, but they will give us a cold shoulder because nobody likes to be second choice. But what if no one goes for the blonde? We don't get in each other's way, and we don't insult the other girls. This is any way we win. Game theory is a many of used in economics, political science and psychology. Most research in game theory focus on groups of people interact. How to learn game theory? In this video, we're gonna play some games. Firstly, we play a classic game named Prisoner's Dilemma. Two members of criminal gang are arrested and imprisoned. Each prisoner is in solitary confinement without communicating with the other. Each prisoner is given the opportunity either to betray the other by testifying that the other committed the crime, or to cooperate with the other by remaining silent. The offer is, so let, let's write it down to make things clear. If A and B each betray the other, each of them serves two years in prison. If A betray B but B remains silent, A will be set free, and B will serve three years in prison, and vice versa. If A and B both remain silent, both of them will serve one year in prison. It's quite a tough choice. Now let's look at another example without a complex context and just play the game. So we have two players A and B. They want to maximize their result value. If A choose alpha and B choose alpha, they both get zero result. If A choose alpha and B choose beta, A get one and B get minus three. If A choose beta and B choose alpha, A get minus 3 and B get 1. If they both choose beta, they get both get 1. Of course they can't communicate. If you, you are A, what will you choose? You can pause the video and think about it, and the answer is right after. It seems the two strategies without a better choice. Actually, we should choose alpha because it's a dominate strategy. If we think carefully, we can find if we choose alpha, no matter what the other person choose, we always get a better result. For example, A choose alpha. If B choose alpha and A get zero, zero is more than minus three. If B choose beta, A get one. So if you choose alpha, you have a dominant strategy. Of course, you can get a better result. In real life, it depends on a lot of factors. Maybe for some moral or future reason, you will have a different choice. Anyway, it gives you the basic idea of how to think in many situations. Learn more and have fun. Please subscribe to my video and I will share the very best book every week.